In this video, I'm going to explain chi-square test of independence. Then I will show you how to conduct this test in Minitab version 16 and 17. Chi-square tests of independence, which is also known as test for two-way tables, is a statistical test designed to look for a relation or dependence between two variables. In other words, it looks to see if one variable has some values for predicting another. Let's take a look at an example. Suppose a researcher is looking to see whether there is a relation between age of patients and the severity of their particular disease. The information of 216 patients are collected, categorized by both of age and severity, and presented in this cross-tabulation table right here. So our null hypothesis states that disease severity and age are independent of each other and our alternative hypothesis states disease severity and age are not independent. That is, there is some kind of pattern between age and severity of a disease. So let's take a look at the chi-square formula. The chi-square score is calculated by getting the observed count of each of these cells and subtracting what we expected to get if the null hypothesis was true. That is, if these numbers were randomly generated and there were no relations between the age and severity of the disease. And squaring the results divided by expected count and adding every one of those values for each cell together to get our chi-square chi -square score. And the way to get the uh, expected value is by multiplying my row total by my column total divided by the grand total. Let me show you two down here. Um, so all of this is done in Excel. So if I double click here, so I'm in the first column, first row. And I'm going to double click so you can see the first row total multiplied by first column total divided by the grand total gives me this value and uh, let's just click here second call second row total multiplied by third column total divided by grand total so what we really did here to come up with the expected is we used our total um our, our subtotals for each of these rows and columns to come up with a random proportion uh, based on what we have observed. So you can actually see that the sum of this row is still 70. I'm just going to double click here. You can see this is 70 right here. And so this one, so as this one, these are virtually the same. Actually, these are exactly the same, except this one, you know, didn't round the way it should have. Uh, and our grand total is almost the same. So this is a randomly, uh, th these, these values are random and uh, based on the row total and the column totals that we had observed. So now we can go and calculate our chi-square score. Actually, I'm going to leave it here. So what is this number now? I'm just going to double click so you can see. So basically I'm saying my uh, um, my observed, um, which is 15, my observed count minus uh, my expected. Then I squared it and divided it by the uh, expected again. And I did it for every one of these cells. And the sum of all of these, so th these are the values, these are the um, chi-square values for each of these cells and the sum of all of these give me my chi-square score you can actually see it I just summed all of it and um, so we're done with this portion but to calculate our degrees of freedom we have to uh, look at it this way we have uh, the number of categories in one variable which is three and the number of ca uh, categories in the other variable which was the age uh, and that's 4, um, so 3 minus 1 times 4 minus 1 
this gives us 6. So our uh, degrees of freedom is going to be 6. Now let me show you how this is done in uh, Minitab. So in Minitab, basically what we have to do is enter our data. Uh, actually, this is Minitab 16. I put it up here. So uh, we enter our table, our uh, contingency table or our cross tabulation table in the, in the body of uh, Minitab. Let me just close this one. And um, then we go to uh, stats, we go to tables, we go to two way tables in worksheet, it says chi square test. And um, I've done it here already. So um, this is how you would see probably when you when you um, click in this uh, cell, you just have to select all of them and hit OK. And um, this is actually very much the same as what we had done. Um, you can actually go back on the video and check this values. Let me see if I can put this back up here. Oh yeah. So um, we can see 15, 32, 18, 5. This is our table. This is our observe. And this is our expected. It calculated right here. It's almost the same, maybe a little bit off. Um, so this is first, uh, so this is uh, the first row the second row and third row. So the first row is 7.78 right here. And then the chi-square score um, is right here. You can see it right here. And again, it's a little bit rounding issue, but overall, uh, it's basically the same as what we've done in Excel. And if I scroll down here, this is what you're seeing. This is the key. The chi-square score of 27 with the degrees of freedom of 6. And then we look for the p-value. P-value is 0, uh, which means that this is definitely, there is some kind of relation between these two uh, variables. And, um, um, you know, you could, you could have chosen 5% um, uh, for your alpha or 10%, but... Um, I mean, this is way below it, so there's definitely a relation. And in Minitab 17, uh, let me just pull that up. Uh, so again, you enter your data the same way. You go to um, uh, Stats, Tables, and then you go to uh, Chi-Square, goodness of it, no, you go to Cross Tabulation. Oh, here we go. I think that's what it is. Yep. And um, you select these, select, and let me see what I have here. Yep, we're okay. And we hit okay. Same thing. Um, we got a Pearson chi square 27, degrees of freedom, and zero. And um, this is a likelihood ratio, which the uh, version 16 doesn't have. But anyway, we're going to stick with the Pearson chi-square. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.